Just in breaking news, eccentric antivirus software company founder John McAfee was found dead of suspect of suicide in his jail in Barcelona, Spain. This is shortly after Spain's national court had approved his extradition to the U.S. to face federal criminal tax evasion charges along with separate charges in such cases such as pump and dump schemes involving multiple cryptocurrencies. He was arrested last October in Barcelona and has been sitting in prison since. This is the wild story of John McAfee. Out of the strange tale of an American tech mogul at the center of an international murder mystery. Now becoming synonymous with drugs, paranoia, and the mysterious murder of McAfee's neighbor. So back in the 1980s, John McAfee created this cybersecurity software and sold it for tens of millions of dollars back in the day. And this is really where he got his fame and notoriety and a lot of his initial money from. But unfortunately, after that, it was a dark journey down, facing tons of charges such as tax evasion in which he was extradited to the U.S. today to face those charges. And that's why he, according to his lawyer, did commit suicide in his jail cell. Um, because from through 2014 through 2018, he did not file any of his taxes after making millions of dollars um, from these certain allegations, such as pump and dump schemes that he ran and faced um, many charges with that. Also, movie rights that he had um, got access to that where Johnny Depp actually was supposed to play him. Um, and he even ran for president um, back in 2016 in the Libertarian Party um, and was... Um, was in the primary debates on it. So, I mean, this guy has just lived an absolute crazy life. You know, went to college in Roanoke College, had a, had a tough upbringing with some major issues, such as his uh, stepfather, who was very abusive, who also um, took his own life. But this guy has just had the most wild journey. And, you know, at 75 years of age, he is found dead and... You know, it's just crazy because this, this is a this is a guy who's had a huge impact on the cryptocurrency market space. I mean, there's videos, you know, back when back when Bitcoin was sitting at three thousand dollars. You know, he's one of the big advocates claiming it's going to five hundred k. You know, but he also he also did a lot of bad things, such as you know all the pump and dump schemes, where you know he um, he he took millions and millions of dollars from crypto investors by um, you know telling them to buy one certain thing and you know just raking in. The um the dollars and basically obstructing obstructing these uh these fraudulent schemes and um, it's just crazy to see you know all that has happened because this guy like like yeah, you've seen has just lived in just an absolute incredible lavish life filled by controversy after controversy murder schemes drug schemes prostitution rape I just anything you can imagine um, this guy has been in and um, you know it was a shock to a lot of people. To see that you know he was found dead today, um, you know after spending spending a couple months in a in a prison cell in Spain, um, after he was um, after he was found and arrested at the international airport in Barcelona on these charges, and um, you know he's been he's been sitting there since and people wondering what's going to happen, but you know he he failed to file taxes in 2014 and through 2018. And, you know, you can't do that in the U.S. Obviously, it's one of the biggest things people get people on is, um, is tax fraud. And so obviously there's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of other things out there and a lot of other people think he's holding, you know, tons of cryptocurrency um, that he did not disclose at all. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's incredible to, to see this and to, um, to, to really go back and look at his story. I'm not a great editor, so I'm not going to make a whole you know, video showing everything that he has done and all that. But, you know, there's tons of videos out there where you can go and actually look at his whole life. But I just thought to be thought it was kind of interesting today when that when that came out. Um, but, you know, overall, not not too much going on. Besides that, markets had a pretty, pretty decent day today. NASDAQ flying um, in the beginning and then pulling off at the end. All the other indices not doing really too much. Dow down 0.2, S&P down 0.1. VIX down about two percent as well. Kind of a kind of a weird day overall, but you know I think this is definitely the key story of today, and I thought I'd share it with you guys a little bit, um, in case you didn't know who that guy was because he is a big deal, um, mainly in the crypto world. Um, 
And, and speaking of crypto, if you actually look at the crypto market cap today, um, everything is absolutely soaring um, from where it was just a little bit ago. I mean, Dogecoin was sitting at 16 cents and now it's at over 22 cents. Um, so everything really shot back big, you know, Bitcoin up over 18% from where it was. I mean, this thing was in the 29,000s and now it's back into the mid 33,000. So just overall, just a, a very wild day, you know, and, and with this news and with, um, with the, the stock market and now the crypto market as well, it's just a lot, a lot going on. So thought I'd share with you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. Um, you know, obviously if you did remember to like and subscribe, it means a ton to me, but um, yeah, kind of, kind of thrown off by this. It's, um, you know, definitely a surprise. I hadn't heard of the guy in a while, but, um, I think everyone has, has seen his like software and stuff like that, that he's created. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, you know, being one of the biggest Bitcoin advocates, you know, back when it was only just like two, $3,000 a share. Um, and so he obviously made a ton of money on that, but you know, he did run a lot of pump and dump schemes, which got him in some huge, huge trouble. Um, and then even ran for president of the libertarian party back in 2016, um, which, which is kind of funny. I, I didn't even know about that until today. But, you know, overall, it's it's a wild day. You know, the portfolio is looking pretty good. We are at all-time highs uh, on that. Um, but, you know, just wild stuff, wild, wild stuff. Baba recovered for us a little bit today, which is nice. We're able to close out our spreads for a big, nice gain. So, I don't know. A lot of stuff going on today, guys. Hope hope you guys are all doing good. Let me know your thoughts on everything I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to talk with me, come on in the Discord. It is entirely free and I would love to chat with you guys. Link will be in the description below. This Discord is really cool because it offers a lot of features that other Discords don't. You know, obviously we talk about the market. I have cool charts and bots. We also give free alerts. So we have a bunch of different analysts that will go out there and give alerts. And, you know, clearly we, we make pretty good profits on these every single day. Um, and it's just a great way to get into a good community and to make some good, you know, plays. Um, you know, we have some big bots in here that, that we paid for that do a lot of stuff like that. And, you know, watching different signals like this, you know, looking for the Tesla breakout this morning, you know, sure enough, sure enough it broke out. Um, you know, I give out alerts and stuff like that on different things that I do. Um, that would, that would have made you guys some good money, especially on Baba. Um, so, you know, if you guys are interested in this in the slightest, definitely go ahead and check it out. Me and my buddy Opt run this server and we do a great job just, you know, helping you guys out and the server's been growing a lot and um, yeah, it's just, it's just awesome to see. You know, we have over 2,500 members in this channel and, you know, a lot of great insight is brought into this with a lot of great knowledge as well. So anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Take it easy. If you guys like this video, please remember to like, subscribe. It does mean a ton to me. And I will see you guys next video. Bye, guys.